Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a very, very shiny pen mail for you to start with today. There's two packages in this pen mail video, um, but I'm going to unwrap this one first, which came in this very nice padded um, padded envelope. I'll have to do this off camera and cut through the sticky tape. This was a purchase from eBay. Uh, oh, awful to get through. These scissors look very sharp. They're not. <laughs> right, I am getting somewhere with it. So, shall just wrestle with this lovely bright teal padded envelope. Yeah, there you go. Right, that's that. More bubble wrap. Well protected. Always good to get well protected pens through the post because the Royal Mail here in the UK has a nasty habit of uh, sort of sometimes damaging items in transit if they're not packed correctly. Not their fault, but you know, it's always good to be safe rather than sorry with these things. So, what is it? Vintage pen, Lamy. Um, yeah, so this is, if you like, it was almost the uh, precursor to the Lamy. 2000 and we've got the Lamy L at the end of the barrel there nothing on the finial got the little ears for the cap which is plastic this doesn't feel like mackerel on could be we've got breather hole there on the feed and black uh, plastic. So this is a cartridge pen. Now, from what I believe, this is the uh, Lamy 26P um, metal barrel, brushed metal barrel. Um, this takes, rather than the usual Lamy proprietary cartridges, this actually takes standard international cartridges, as far as I'm aware. That was what, what my research said. So, yeah, very nice vintage pen. Uh, I love the design of it. Been after one of these for quite a while. Um, so, looking forward to getting to uh, getting to grips with that pen. It is a lot slimmer than the Lamy uh, Lamy Two Thousand. Does feel certainly uh, certainly a lot slimmer. Mm, similar in size, different nib uh, configuration. Uh, nonetheless, very very nice, and of course not the uh, not the iconic clip, but still a perfectly perfectly functional clip. There we go. So, Lamy twenty six P, dated back to nineteen sixties. So that's that one. Now, for those of you who uh, who like non-vintage pens or cheap Chinese fountain pens. Here we go. I've got something for you. Now I'm not going to allude to the fact that all of the vintage pen followers have probably just gone, oh no, I'll just stop watching at that point. So that, they've all gone now. So Chinese pen lovers, you're on your own with me. Lucky you. And, wow, they used a ton of bubble wrap on this thing. Oh, wow. Okay, so, pen pouches. There we go, wow, something stinks in there. And... Nibs. So, let's 
let's have a look. Yep, okay, three nibs. So what are the pens? There we go. Moon Man M600S. I love these pens. Really, really love them. They're great pens. Parker Duo Fold. Homage. Rip off. However you want to uh, look at it. They are still very, very nice. Big traditional looking pens so we've got a bent nib with this food in that's not a bent nib that's a food a nib so that is going to be very very good for line variation depending on the angle you hold it against the paper it's also going to drink ink like nobody's business so in this case this was the um it's the cracked ice finish um which to be honest, is like all the other cracked ice finishes. There's a bit of chatoyancy in there. There's a bit of sparkliness. Um, yeah, very attractive. Had to have that as part of the collection because I'm still trying to find a brown one, which seems to have all been sold. Uh, but I saw these and thought, mm, yeah, definitely go for the cracked ice finish. Moonman M600S. What is this? Amber. This is the amber finish. Now, <laughs> to be honest, actually, I'm very surprised. This finish is actually really, really good. I bought it because I thought it's unusual. Brown and yellow, a bit of white or grey. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be attractive, unusual, something a bit different for my collection. But it's really, really good. I mean, there's white, all the white has got chatoyancy. So you've got all sorts of things going on in there. Um, and the brown has got this sort of sparkly sheen to it. So that is really, really quite a surprise. It's a shame the section's black plastic, but there we go. So another food a nib. So... There goes the M600 in the amber finish, which is, wow. I, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. This really is quite a good finish. So very happy with that. Very unusual. And there's more. Another M600S. Yes, it's all right. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Now, this, um, I think it's called Starry Night, this finish. Um, it's a very nice navy blue with a bit of sort of lighter blue in there as well. And as you can see, excellent chatoyancy. And this brown, look at that. It's like a sort of brown moonstone. The depth to that chatoyancy is really really good i mean this wow there's a good flash of chatoyancy at that angle nothing around the back of the cap down here is all I'll just move it around so you can see the chatoyancy playing across the surface of the pen really really good wow you can see why i love these pens um, I think the food aid nibs are actually a bonus. I don't recall ordering them with food aid nibs, which is why I was a little bit confused as to why I had these nibs. Um, I did originally think, when I saw those, uh, that there wouldn't be any nibs in the pens and I'd have to install them myself, but they all appear to have come with these food aid nibs. And I'm guessing those that these nibs are fine. Mm, moon man. They certainly look like fine nibs to me anyway, so wow. And the last one, here we go. I think you can probably guess which model of pen it's going to be. Yep, there we go. Another Moon Man M600S. This one is the uh, green uh, cracked ice type finish. I believe they were calling this something along the lines of um, 
oh, what was it, Forest Green or something like that. And it is a very nice forest green with ivory white, chatoyant pieces in. Uh, it's, trans it's quite translucent. You can see the uh, see the cartridge, uh, the converter, and the um, the nib through this this material. Um, that cap is a little bit iffy. See what's going on on these threads, nothing obvious. I think a bit of silicone grease will help. So, food a nib again. And um, let's just there we go. I think it'd been rather poorly put on or it wobbled loose in transit. So, Parker type arrow clip on these pens and very, very nice finishes. Wow, look at the colours in this chatoyancy up here. Purples, blues, not really. I'll try and hold it up to the camera. There we go, you can see. Not going to be in photo. There we go. So purples, pinks, blues. There is some very nice chatoyancy. So, there we go. Lamy 26P, something functional business-like, traditional, modern, contemporary, and the M600S in four different finishes. Green, blue, amber, and starry night. So, there we go. Five pens, all quite different, different designs, um, well, different colours, if you like. Uh, but very, very nice. So, yeah, really pleased with this little uh, little collection of pens and nice to get some standard fine nibs to go with these Moonman M600S's if I don't fancy using the Fude nibs. So, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time when we're in focus. Bye.